Yes, my name is Benny Hill. And I'm a St. Paul Central coach. I'm an assistant coach with the D-backs, defensive backs. It's, uh, it's fun. I'm having a good time. My first year. Coach Sam Goodrude, coach offense mostly, coach receivers. And then this year I'm also coaching DBs as well. Uh, I've been coaching, this is my fifth year now, I believe. Um, graduated in 2016, played football here. So, uh, yeah, that's me. My name is Jamal Galato. I'm a coach here over at Central High School. Uh, I've played football for Central uh, from 2012 to 2016. Currently as a coach, I am a varsity and JV coach. I'm an assistant varsity coach and co-head coach uh, for JV. Uh, coach Howell, I'm starting my, I'm ending <laughs> my 23rd year as head coach, uh, uh, finishing my 33rd year as a coach here at Central. I like to uh, see, cause I like to deal with the kids and see uh, what they're going to do in life and what they're going to do when they get older and try to keep them out of trouble. Try to show them discipline. That's my main key. Show them discipline. Uh, you know, I just I like helping out young people, working with the kids, um, and then I also love sports and being competitive. So it's a good way to combine those two things. And uh, I also enjoy coaching with one of my friends, Coach Jamal, and then also my dad, uncle, and grandpa as well. Uh, the reason I like coaching is because uh, uh, growing up there. Were, older coaches that were in my life that helped me uh, become a young uh, adult uh, and I want to give back uh, in that same manner for younger generations. I love the end result. Uh, you know, like we're dealing with a bunch of our athletes and looking at colleges for next year and, and moving forward uh, and our gratification is that we've given them an opportunity to those who wanted it an opportunity to go play at the next level. So. Uh, that that works for us. Lots of guys are hurt. A few guys uh, don't come to practice. If you don't come to practice, you, you, you won't know what's going on. And then, then we start off with 60. Now we're getting down to 30, 25. And you can't win like that. You got to show up to practice. Uh, I just want them to overall just be proud of the way they've improved. Um, especially the senior class, you know, their first year was a COVID year and he only, only played a few games. Season started late and a bunch of stuff that doesn't normally happen, but they just, by showing up every day, working hard for the entire year, for four consecutive years, they've become some pr pretty good football players. Mm -hmm. So I'm proud of them. For them to understand that in life, there's going to be a rough road, but, you know, drive through it or thrive through it. Resilience. <laughs> we've uh, we've had to be very resilient. Uh, we we we've had a lot of injuries. Uh, a lot of bad things happen to us. Uh, and those players that have stuck in there, that have been resilient, that have moved around and played different positions when we asked them to, they didn't complain. Uh, they just kind of went. We rolled with the punches like us coaches did. So, uh, just resiliency, being resilient. The same class. At Central this year, they're hard workers. They work hard. They've, they've been playing together for, I think, three, four years. Mm -hmm. And they're the backbone of the team. And so the, the youngsters look up to them. So they got to set, set, set the example. So they're very hard workers. And they're uh, great young kids. Uh, I think just going to remember that their, or their first year was a COVID year. And also how much they've grown, like physically, mentally, everything. When they first got to high school, they were some, they were some really little players, to be honest. <laughs> like they looked like they're like in middle school, but now, you know, they've grown up and they're turned into young men. So um, that's probably the main thing. Oof, this senior class, this is the COVID senior class. I'm gonna remember a lot. I think as a young coach, uh, this senior class has been through a lot of things that happened just through our, you know, our life. Uh, oh man, I don't know where to start. I remember there were COVID class, 
So I remember a lot. I think one thing is they stay together. That's one thing I remember. That's one thing I will always remember for sure is that they always stay together. No matter the circumstance, they'll always work together. Uh, they play for each other. Uh, they're always great friends to each other. That's one thing for sure I remember. Uh, I would never forget this class, for sure. I would never forget the 22, uh, 2023 class. COVID. <laughs> I always call, call them my COVID class. Uh, my COVID class, we, we were talking as coaches earlier uh, about our, about our uh, COVID year and we go, us going through seven different quarterbacks <laughs> uh, at one time and Joe being one of those quarterbacks at, at that time. And so... Uh, I'll always remember that uh, it was it was a year that we were able to get together, but it was kind of a lost year too. Mm -hmm. Hang in there, work hard. Don't get mad at nothing. nothing and, uh, if you have a problem, talk to somebody about it. They, they, they can work hard and enjoy it. They, they just have fun. guys I would tell them to uh, keep working on their goals uh, keep working on their goals and you know and for sure get your degree that's really important when you get to college get your degree and after that you know the whole world is yours work hard uh, listen um, understand that that college is, 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 is different uh, look forward to growing up being independent um, but also look at making themselves proud, their families proud, the school proud, their community proud. Uh, you know, that's a lot of things that we try to talk about and try to instill in our guys. And hopefully they take that on uh, wherever they may go. And hopefully it's all over the country. Watch, watch what the seniors are doing. Try to follow their example. Or set your own example. Process. Don't get down on each other. Just watch the seniors. Watch the position that you're supposed to be going in him for. Don't be on the sidelines dinking around. And just watch, pay attention, and focus. Underclassmen, just keep working, keep showing up. You take days off, take weeks off at a time in the season and in off season. You know, you get behind, don't have that same improvement. Um, also, just for, to hold each other accountable. If you guys all hold each other accountable and show up every day and get better, by the time you guys become juniors and seniors, you'll be really good players as well. For younger uh, underclassmen and younger guys, uh, basically, come work hard in off season. Stay in class, go to class, get your grades up. Uh, other than that, get in shape, play football again. Look at these guys. Uh, uh, again, I did, this is our COVID group that we're, we're, we're real. Our hands were tied in what we could do in the off season uh, and things like that. Um, and I think, you know, without all the injuries this year, it could have been a different result. Uh, but this was a hard working group who really put in time and hours and effort uh, into our off season training program. Uh, but, uh, you know, the chips didn't fall our way right now. You know, anything can happen in the playoffs and that's what we're looking for. So, uh, but if anything is, is to work hard and this group did do that. When uh, the, the the game's over, most of the time uh, the, the coaches and, and we will go somewhere and have some food and talk about the the game and everything. And uh, some plays be funny, but some don't be funny because when when, when you lose it ain't funny, but when you win it's funny. <laughs> so so you know we we get together once in a while. I show up and we have good conversations about the game. Did what? Player did what? And it, it's fun. It be, it's funny. So you know, a funny story is just uh, something that we were with this senior group. We remember back to their first year and when we played eight quarterbacks, and so we played eight quarterbacks in the entire season for varsity, which is insane. So just this year, when we've had to play a couple of different different guys, and. Uh, Especially Joe, when he was a freshman, he was one. We just said, "Hey, you know what? You got to step in there and try it." 
and then it's paid off because now as a senior, he's able to go in the game and play well and uh, play quarterback the whole game and help us uh, win that North St. Paul game especially. So uh, that's something that I'll definitely remember from this year. It was a game uh, It was a game against Como, and we're trying to not use Cole that much. And Cole was coming to me before the game. He's like, hey, Coach Jamal, I'm going to score. Now, so Cole didn't play many plays in that game. Handful of offense, handful of defense, and – couple special team plays specifically he was on the punt return so when during one of the first punts of the game it's a weird punt kind of went straight up in the air from the como kicker and might even landed behind the line of scrimmage and no one knew what to do it was get away from it cole scooped it up ran in for about a 35 yard touchdown it's a really heads up play he's really excited came over to the sidelines went straight to coach jamal and said see coach jamal told you i was going to score there's, there's there's probably plenty um i think the, the one that makes me laugh just today is we have a player who left town, uh, went on vacation with his family that came into the stadium uh, with his suitcase, <laughs> just getting back in town. And I just <laughs> looked at Coach Gubru and I just kind of shook my head. I was like, okay, I guess he's back. <laughs> he's got a suitcase with him. <laughs> so we just kind of chuckled about that, I guess. I mean, you can't make it up. <laughs> Just, uh, you know, thanks for all your support uh, this year and throughout all these players' careers. Um, you know, this year, we're uh, right now we're three and four. We, we, we could very easily be six and one, but uh, that's all right. We still got a lot, lot of the season left, and I think we're ready for a playoff run. So uh, just thank you for supporting and uh, helping out with our program. You know, I, I think my final message is, is all the love and support that, that uh, this program has gotten uh, over the last few years has been amazing. Uh, to all the parents who, who, who take time to, you know, donate uh, not only their time but their, their, their dollars uh, in, in making sure that our kids are fed well, uh, not only just for team meals but during tour days uh, and just all the support that, uh, that, they've, that they've given our athletes. Uh, and to my coaches, you know, I can't say uh, much more. You know, it's, it's funny. Uh, I, we played Mount West Tonka the other day um, and – if you looked at their roster, they had 18 coaches on their roster. We have seven. And so we have seven coaches that put in as much work as they do to make our program work, where they sit with 18 different coaches. You know, and, and so I applaud my guys. I mean, we break down film just like they do. You know, we prepare our kids just like they do. But we just don't have those resources. So I, I truly appreciate the work that all my coaches put in.